Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is David Geiger and I'm with the Customer Engagement Branch of the GeoInt Information Office at the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, or NGA. I'll be your host during this event and I can tell you that our team is really excited to provide you a short yet informative review that highlights how NGA continues to open the aperture and access to the trusted delivery of authoritative GeoInt products as part of the USGIF Geospatial Gateway Forum. During our session, you'll discover how the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency continues to revolutionize the dissemination process of NGA's authoritative GeoInt products and services to thousands of IC and DoD users. At the end of our session, you'll have a deeper understanding of how NGA's custom media, print-on-demand, collaboration tools, IC GIS portal, and historic imagery have improved your ability to discover, access, and receive the foundations you want products and services that NGA provides to IC, DOD, and international partners who rely upon this information for their unique mission areas. NGA continues to focus on the transformation of the processes and procedures of the Foundation GeoInt lifecycle performed at the NGA Data Center West in order to ensure the most effective, efficient, and expedient GeoInt support to our NGA partners occurs. In essence, we deliver anytime, any place. Internal goals within NGA are goal number one, our people, dedicated to inspiring and growing our world-class workforce. Goal number two, our partnerships. It's how we fuel and drive the entire GeoInt community. Goal number three, the mission today. It's how we secure and deliver the nation's most trusted GeoInt. And finally, goal number four, Again, internal to NGA, is how we focus on the mission tomorrow, in essence, how we anticipate opportunities and foresee threats. Let's focus on NGA goal number three. How does the NGA GEO and Information Office continue to actively support United States national security by delivering the persistent, accurate, secure, and timely GEO data, products, and services our customers rely upon to perform their critical missions? Quite simply, we accomplish this by accelerating the delivery timelines, we decrease decision timelines, we broker geospatial solutions, and deliver the best possible GeoInt to any mission, at any time, for any location. This ensures confidence and trust of customers by consistently guaranteeing both the security and quality of the GeoInt that is delivered. A great example, and by the way, it provides an easy segue, is the custom media program at NGA. The custom media program focuses on the discovery, access, and delivery of on-demand, standardized, foundational GeoInt data and services. NGA not only provides customers access to the authoritative GeoInt data, but also we do this through delivery of external hard drives or network attached storage or NAS units within the enterprise file delivery or EFD data discovery. The discovery is easy. The world is divided into 38 distinct replication on demand or ROD regions. Uh, these are subsets of the United States combatant commands or COCOMs and each region having an assigned national stock number or NSN number. And to see this process in action, quite simply, by accessing more than the 26 types of foundational data available, the end user looks up the area of interest from the Defense Logistics Agency or DLA catalog. The region is then copied to external hard drives and then shipped to customers or end users at no cost to them. For more information on the custom media program at NGA, contact them at custommedia at nga.mil. Direct line for the group is 636-321-5285, or you can visit the unclass version of the website. Uh, it's at that long URL you see below, or you can use the shortened URL we created at go.usa.gov forward slash lowercase x-ray capitalized golf Sierra, Yankee, and Tango. Print on demand ensures, well, we deliver electronically or in hard copy maps on demand. A hard copy can be delivered anywhere, any place, at any time for any region or mission area. Through close partnerships with the Defense Logistics Agency, again, DLA, and by ordering from the DLA catalog, users are able to request specialty products that are then created and delivered. I mean, it can be an atlas, it could be a map, a book, a floor map, or any other boutique product. It is also through our established partnerships with DLA and other agencies that we act as the print brokers for NGA and their end users. 
to ensure we have the best quality, the best price, and the quickest turnaround for the delivery of the maps and charts. These charts include everything from aeronautical, topographic, hydrographic, digital replication, foundational data, which includes all National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, also known as NOAA, and United States Geological Survey, or USGS, 24K and 25K topos. All the charts are georeferenced, available in different file formats, both in a collared or decollared state. For more information, or to visit the print on demand at NGA, visit them at maphelp at nga.mil. You can also access the Unclass website through the very long URL below, uh, or you can use the shortened URL we created at go.usa.gov forward slash lowercase x-ray capitalized golf Sierra Yankee and the number eight. Next, we'll discuss collaboration at NGA and the program in place to ensure it occurs. Collaboration at NGA is working to make it easier for NGA to find you, uh, for you to find you, and for you to find us. The collaboration program serves all departments, agencies, and services of the United States intelligence community. By providing expertise and real-time operational support, also as collaborative operations or collab ops coaches, facilitators, and researchers to strengthen our national security with more agile, powerful, and responsive human connections. The program enhances GEOINT connection, uh, integration, and interoperability. By leveraging collaborative spaces, uh, it informs GEOINT needs. And by connecting customers with GEOINT, uh, we do that in near real time. How to connect? You can connect by using the collaboration spaces. You can sign up for GEOINT alerts, uh, and that will help provide a GEOINT sense making of the chat space. And don't forget, you can also integrate with other agency tools. It's within these collaborative spaces that our team works tirelessly to inform customers of new and emerging collaborative technologies, techniques, and tactics as they come online or soon to be available. Our success is measured by our ability to answer questions regarding NGA products, their discovery, or their distribution. Our responsiveness to end user needs by utilizing the collaborative tools, techniques, and tactics available. Our use of artificial intelligence or machine learning, which augments our ability to discover trends in the virtual collaborative spaces in near real time. At that same time, we are able to then discover and document potential gaps in geospatial information and its distribution as we currently understand it today. For more information, you can email the team at coat at nga.mil. Uh, the acronym COAT refers to the Collaborative Organizations Advisory Team, which supports all collaboration throughout the GEO and Enterprise. Also, when you're in any chat tool, whether it's IRC, IAM, or ChatSurfer, simply type in the words need GEOINT, have GEOINT need, or COAT in any open chat room to connect to the team. Points of contact include Elaine Vilforth, who is the Collaboration Integration Lead, or Carolyn McCain, uh, she's a key member of the Collaborative Organization's advisory team, again, known as COAT. You can also contact the team at the long URL provided or utilize the shortened URL we created, go.usa.gov forward slash lowercase x-ray capitalized golf Sierra Yankee November. Next, we'll discuss the ICGIS portal. And I'm consistently asked, David, what is the ICGIS portal? Well, quite simply, the ICGIS portal is a collaborative geospatial content management system for the intelligence community and Department of Defense. The ICGIS portal enables the discovery and the sharing of geospatial information for the DoD and intelligence communities. Users can create, organize, secure, and manage geographic assets and connect end users with useful apps, maps, and geographic data. Central to the ICGIS portal is integration with NGA's Identity Management Program, or GeoAccess, for enterprise user management permitting community-wide single sign-on capabilities. The ICGIS portal is a web geospatial information system, or GIS, that enables cross-team functionality through story maps, web maps, operational dashboards, or web apps. The ICGIS portal ensures integration with your portal, the ability to share geospatial data without replication, it eliminates the data silos and the need for emailing files or using shared drives. The data available for collaboration within your team or mission area include vertical obstructions, bathymetry data, 
air target charts and the grids associated with the air target charts, airfield information, commercial imagery base or SIB, digital international boundaries, also known as DIB, and DNC charts. In essence, if it's foundation data, we have it. For more information on the ICGIS portal, email the group at GIS Portal Mission Support at nga.mil. You can also contact Dayton Barber, the ICGIS Portal Outreach Lead, at the email address provided. You can visit the ICGIS Portal website on the unclassed domain at portal.go.nga.mil. The ICGIS Portal is available on all security domains, and for more information, contact the team. Last, but certainly not least, is historic imagery. The primary use of this imagery is surveillance, analysis, and automated target detection. Uh, this has been a massive undertaking at NGA to digitize the entire collection uh, from aerial and satellite film with missions dating from 1935 to 2004. It includes over 170 million images available. The estimated completion of transferring uh, the wet film to a digital format for all of these images is estimated to be the year 2030. The historic imagery today is available through the DRS web service uh, with vast libraries of historic imagery, POW and MIA recovery missions, KH-1-7 and most of KH-1-9 imagery are declassified. They are georeferenced, products also available upon demand. And this is another great example of NGA's commitment to succeeding in the open by partnering with academia to include the public and private sectors to drive your mission forward. Order today and you'll discover how easy NGA has made it to access these amazing files direct to your workstation. For more information about historic imagery, you can contact the team at drsadmin at coe.ic.gov, but you can also contact Dottie Sakers Roche, the historic imagery program lead using the email or phone listed below. And by all means, please feel free to contact the ST Outreach team at st underscore outreach at nga.mil. Well, that wraps up our briefing for today. I hope you discovered something new. I'm your host, David Geiger, with the Customer Engagement Branch of the Geo and Information Office within the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, signing off for now, but we look forward to working with our IC and DoD partners, private sector and academia, to ensure the most state-of-the-art Geo products and services are available to our IC and DoD users. Thanks again for joining us today. Have a great day, stay safe, stay well, and we look forward to seeing you next time.